Okay, we're introducing a system of linear equations, which just means two or more linear uh, equations. We're going to only deal with two, and there are three different ways you can get solutions. You can get one solution, and that's where you have intersecting lines, and they intersect at a point. It's some x comma y. You can have infinite solution. That means you have two equations. They coincide. So basically, they lay on top of one another. Whoops. They lay on top of one another. We call it infinite solution because they touch everywhere. And that's also called consistent and dependent. And then you can have parallel lines. That means they have the same slope. So you have the same slope. They never touch. Parallel lines never touch. So there's no solution. And we call that inconsistent. All right, we're going to go over uh, each one. Um, here's one where um, I graph both solutions, or I graph both equations. Um, number one is the orange one, and number two is the green one. It intersects, they intersect at a point three, comma, negative four. That means these are consistent and dependent. The next one we have is um, where these have the same slope and the same intercept. Now I'm going to do uh, the slope here. It's uh, negative a over b is your slope and c over b is your y-intercept. So if I take equation 1 here and we know this is ax plus by equals c. Um, so a is 4. We're going to do negative 4 over negative 3. So that's negative a over b, which gives you 4 thirds. Now, if we do the same thing with equation 2, we have the same slope because basically what you get is negative. 8 over negative 6, and that reduces to 4 thirds as well. So it has the same slope. Now, let's check the y-intercept. The y-intercept is c over b, so that's just going to be for number 1, 8 over negative 3. And for number 2, that's going to be 16 over negative 3, or negative 6, which reduces to 8 over negative 3. So basically, we could rewrite this as y equals 4 thirds x minus 8 thirds. They're basically the same line, so they just sit on top of one another. This is called consistent, a consistent system, and they're dependent. Basically, they're the same lines. One was just magnified by, by the other. And the last one we have is um, two parallel lines. So again, I'm going to take a 1 and 2 and find my slope, negative a over b. So for number 1, that would be negative 2 over 1. And for the second equation, that would be negative 2 over 1 as well. So that means they have the same slope. However, they have a different y-intercept, so c over b. So for the, the blue line, I think that's the blue line. I should have switched this. So, um, so for this first one, that's going to be uh, 4 over 1. And for the second one, we have um, 1 over 1. So basically, if I rewrote these equations, I have um, y, so for the blue one, I'm going to have y equals negative 2x plus 4, and for the second one, I'm going to have y equals um, 4x, or negative uh, 2x plus 1. So if you notice, they have the same slope. 
but different y-intercepts. That means these are parallel lines and they are called uh, inconsistent because there's no solution. They'll never intersect. Parallel lines never intersect. So basically I'm going to change these colors. This was our blue one. I got mixed up. And this was our green one. Okay, in the next video we are going to solve systems by graphing. This was just the introduction to what to call them. Um, I'm also going to make just one video based on doing uh, the negative A over B and C over B with uh, um, standard form equations. Um, have a nice day.